spouse was told two different times that I would not make it through the night, that I would be gone by morning. This Guilford County woman says back pain sent her to the hospital. But it's the infection she says she got in the recovery room that nearly killed her. Two wants to know Ben Briscoe learned it's happening more than you think. Perched in the peace of her porch. I'm on vacation when I get to be in this little room here. Patricia Starr tries to forget she's boxed in by pain. I'm on morphine, 30 milligrams twice a day. I take a uh, Percocet every four to six hours. Um, I, I take gabapentin. All these things are because of the MRSA. The 56-year-old went to the hospital for a surgery on her spine. It's been almost four years, and I can barely speak of it still. Things went south. Because it is forever life-changing. It's embarrassing to me to say that I'm on disability at my young age. I look fine, but I don't feel fine. <laughs> The MRSA ate away at her backbone, and she spent three months in and out of the hospital, including on her birthday. I was the fifth person on my floor that was diagnosed with MRSA. I had people, I had nurses coming in my room that were not following protocol. They weren't gowning, they weren't masking, they weren't gloving. Patricia's story could happen to any of us, according to the nonprofit patient safety group, Health Watch USA. Oh, infections are extremely dangerous, and they are of an utmost concern right now. They raise concerns in the Antimicrobial Resistance and Infection Control Journal. Yeah, it's such a big problem, it has its own academic journal. Health Watch USA cited hospital billing data showing MRSA infections have doubled to 41 cases for every 1,000 people discharged. And if you're squeamish, look away for a second, because we can't ignore one of the photos included in the academic article as proof. Much more can be done, and not enough resources are being placed to confront and stop these dangerous bacteria. Okay, you can turn back now for an even more eye-opening statistic. According to Medicare data, two wants to know reviewed. There are two hospitals in the triad that are worse than the national benchmark in multiple infection categories. Wake Forest Baptist in Winston-Salem and Wilkes Regional Medical Center in North Wilkesboro, also owned by the Wake Forest Baptist Hospital System. Baptist representatives declined an interview but sent over this statement, reading in part, while some scoring systems can be helpful in showing hospitals areas in which they can improve, they each use widely different criteria and timeframes, making it extremely difficult for patients to make accurate and useful comparisons. We are confident that every day our faculty and staff are committed to keeping our patients safe and delivering high quality, compassionate care. Health Watch USA says it's important to be aware of the issue at all hospitals. I don't think it's anybody's fault. What's important is not pointing fingers, but is to seeing what each and every one can do in the healthcare system to try to control these infections. Patricia sure wishes her hospital had done more. I'm sad that the nurses and the aides didn't care. about being clean enough to keep me MRSA free. We do want to point out that there are different categories of infections that the government keeps track of. While Wake Forest Baptist was below the national benchmark in some, they were also better than the benchmark in others. There are also several other triad hospitals that were better than the national benchmark, including Cone Health, Navant Health, and High Point Regional. You can see a full list of hospital scores on WFMYNews2.com. But no matter which hospital you go to, remember these key takeaways to help protect yourself. First, you want to ask your doctor if the hospital has a history of infection problems before you're admitted. Also, ask all hospital staff and your visitors to wash their hands as soon as they enter the room. And Health Watch USA says to avoid using antibacterial soap at home because it could cause you to build a resistance to medication that fights infection.